Toastmasters, welcome guest, and of course Forrest. Tonight, Forrest presented the Competent Communicator speech number three, Get to the Point. I want to start with the objectives of his speech because they're pretty meaningful. The objectives are to pick a speech and identify the general and specific purposes of it, to develop your presentation, the body, the sorry, the beginning, the body, the conclusion, that reinforce the point, the purposes. Do so with sincerity and conviction and avoid using notes. Paraphrasing that, it's not just get to the point, it's warn us about the point, then get to the point, then hammer the point home using your structure, your conviction, your eye contact, don't use your notes, and in the end, finish by reinforcing the point as you wrap it up. So, it is very much about layering one thing upon another, upon another, upon another, and then wrapping it all up at the end. How did you do tonight, Forrest? I think you did beautifully. It was clear at the outset that your general purpose was to entertain us, possibly to inspire us. I'm not sure about that yet. And the specific point wise was a little bit questionable besides just general entertainment, but I'm going to come back to that one. So by the book, oh, as well, I wanted to say you did beautifully with your eye contact. You fooled me because you said you were going to use notes and you were going to lean on them and then you didn't, so I full points there. By the book, you did fine. By the audience reception of it, you did stellarly. When a couple examples. I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. When you dropped the line, well, what's better than fake cheese that's powered by an aerosol can? Fake cheese that, or that's not powered by an aerosol, fake cheese that does. See, this is why I'm not a human speaker. <laughs> I can't drop it like that. Everyone was rolling at that. A couple other phrasings were just so vivid. The with the jam, the you prefer the dislodged lift plop method. <laughs> Nailed it with that. Now, to avoid being overly decorous in my oh. review of you, <laughs> I'm going to suggest a modification that would really lock in your specific purpose, making it really clear and wrapping it up very tidily at the end. I would suggest rather than just saying, hey, I'm an innovative eater, dun dun dun, dun like I said before, I would say add a charge to it. So I recommend that you go home tonight. I'm trying to emulate the horse as best I can. <laughs> and the first six things that you see, put them all together. And then put them on the, and then put them on the George Foreman grill. Or the first six things you see in your refrigerator that are blue. <laughs> Something like that. Or you've got a natural comfort or a very well-developed one in presenting and just this devilishly boyish humor. I would really be disappointed if I don't see you in a humorous speech competition in the future. Well done. Thank you.